Oh, hey. Hi. Hello. Hi. <laughs> oh, hey. Hi. Hey. <laughs> okay, so I don't know how other YouTubers or video creators do it, but it t it's taken me too long to do a cold intro, so I'm going to try something different. Something that's never actually worked in my real life, but maybe it'll work for an intro. It's going to be a pickup line, all right? So are you ready? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Oh, hey, uh, by the way, do you know how much a penguin weighs? Just enough to break the ice. Hi, my name is Jake. <laughs> oh, my God. Here, okay, I'm, I'm sorry I had to start that way. We have the intro out of the way. Let's get going. In version 3.0.8, we've added new support for GCP. So now you can easily manage your Google Cloud Platform resources alongside your AWS and Azure resources. This means that you can now analyze your costs across multiple cloud providers, helping you identify cost-saving opportunities and make better informed decisions. We've also automated our release process with Go Releaser, making it even faster and efficient. And that's not all. We now support more resources, including MongoDB serverless clusters and AWS instance profiles. This means that you can now get even more detailed insights into your cloud resources, helping you optimize your costs and improve your overall cloud management. Okay, so moving on to 3.0.9, we continue to make improvements by adding AWS support, giving you the ability to collect even more resources and gather those resources in the Commissar dashboard. This includes CloudWatch dashboards, EC2, internet gateways, elastic IPs, and IAM policies. We've also removed some unused GitHub workflows and fixed a few bugs, including the duplicated default views and AWS KMS pricing. These improvements make it even easier for you to analyze your AWS resources and optimize your costs. And midweek, there was the need to ship a series of hotfixes and that made us ship version 3.0.10. The main fix is around a commissar Docker file inefficiency that needed to be addressed. And we also addressed some minor bugs. You shouldn't see that much difference though from nine to 10. But that's pretty much it for the latest updates. With these new features and improvements, commissar is now even more powerful and easier to use than ever before. Whether you're managing resources on AWS, Azure, GCP, or any of the other supported cloud providers, Commissar can help you optimize your cloud costs and improve your overall cloud management. So download the latest version now. The easiest way would be to use Homebrew by running Brew Update and then running Brew Reinstall Commissar and start managing your multi-cloud resources with ease. See you in the next one. Thanks a million. Bye.